All right, conservation of energy problem here. Uh, so uh, in, in, in all cases, you have the basic principle that uh, initial energy, E initial, is equal to final energy, uh, E final. Uh, so for part A, that means K not, K, uh, initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy, K naught, U naught, uh, will be equal to uh, kinetic energy plus potential energy at one. Uh, at um, at A, excuse me. So we know the kinetic energy, uh, the, the potential energy is the same at U naught and uh, U A. So uh, since they're at the same height, so uh, kinetic energy will be the same at zero and A. Uh, therefore, you have so kinetic energy equals to uh, is uh, is is equal for the two. Uh, two different places, meaning that uh, initial uh, velocity will be the same as velocity at A, which is 17 meters per second. In part B, you have K naught plus U naught is equal to uh, KB plus UB. And so here, um, and so let's write them out here, one half MV naught squared, that's K naught, uh, U naught is uh, mgh, h being the initial height. Uh, and Kb is one half mvb squared. That's what we have to find. Uh, plus uh, ub, that's mg times this time h over two. That's how much um, the height has changed. So the m's cancel in every term. We get rid of the m's. We multiply. Uh, everything, uh, both sides by two. And what we get is that VB will be equal to the square root of V naught squared. We're just rearranging some terms here, plus two GH. And so V naught squared is 17 meters per second. Square that, whoops, square that. Um, G is 9.8 meters per second squared and then H is 42 meters. This gives you VB, velocity of B of 26.5 meters per second. In part C, uh, you uh, set K naught plus U naught equal to KC plus UC. And uh, re really the only thing that changes is, uh, of course, VC will be different because UC is different. UC is now, uh, you see is now um, uh, H, uh, MGH because uh, the, the change in height is uh, from H to zero, so it's MGH. And so uh, this one half um, factor here goes away. And so essentially replicating this, you get pretty much the same thing except VC um, is equal to, uh, uh, again, V naught squared plus two times gh here because of that factor of half going away. So this is uh, the square root of 17 squared plus two times 9.8 times 42, giving you a velocity at c of 33.4 meters per second. All right, and uh, part, uh, part d, um, again, same uh, idea. K naught plus U naught. This time will be equal to a K final plus uh, U final. So you're asked how high can it go? So for how high the car can go, KF will be zero. We want the point where uh, kinetic energy is zero. So uh, so now you have one half M V naught squared plus uh, M G H uh, will be equal to zero plus uh, M G times the final height F. And so uh, solving, and so note again that M's cancel. And so solving for uh, H final, uh, you make that the subject, you get H final is equal to H, the height, uh, initially times uh, plus V naught squared over 2G. So this is simply 42 meters times uh, 17 meters per second uh, quantity squared over two times 9.8 meters per second squared, giving you final height of 56.7 meters. And for part E, you're asked what happens if the mass is doubled? Answer is 
nothing changes. And uh, this is because this is because the mass, as you would have noticed, uh, doesn't factor into any of these equations. In part A, obviously, the answer is the same. Uh, part B, mass cancels out. Part C, mass cancels out. Uh, part D, mass cancels out. So mass always cancels out and it never factors in. Uh, 